apparently what we have here is Joe Biden's, President Joe Biden's version, his own version of Basket of Deplorables, where he attacks a complete half of the country simply because they don't support him the same way that they support someone else. So we got my main man, Ben Shapiro, checking it out. Y'all ride with me. Let's talk about this a little later, okay? I need for y'all to share this too, if you can. If you don't want to share it, you don't have to. If you don't want to sub, you don't have to. Just watch it with me, and let's have a conversation in the comments, all right? Presidential politics is all about image. It's all about imagistics. Whether you're talking about President Trump getting out of a helicopter and taking off his mask in the middle of COVID, or whether you're talking about Barack Obama standing on a giant stage flanked by the Greek Parthenon recreated in 2008. When you look at this image, the image that you're, you're seeing right now of Joe Biden, this is the single worst piece of presidential image making I have ever seen in my entire life. It looks like Gotham City or something like that. Like, oh, I'm about to burn up everybody who's not with me. If you're not with me, you're against me, and I'm coming for your neck until you show me some respect. He looked like he a gangster rapper on this joint right here. No, 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 he don't. No, he don't. He look like he's whining and he's about to, y'all need to support me. Like he's banging on the podium. He's upset like he's throwing a temper tantrum or something. It is not close. This is an astonishingly bad image for the president of the United States, especially when he's declaring, I'm here in defense of democracy and now I'm going to yell at you about how everyone who opposes me is an enemy of democracy. The, uh, let's count the ways in which this is a, horrible piece of, I mean, first of all, let's compare it to some other images just so you see how bad a piece of imagery this is. It's insane. Okay, it's, how about General Lux from Star Trek, uh, from Star <laughs> Wars, The Force Awakens? It's the same image. We're talking about the blood red background. We're talking about the dark outfit, the blood red background, and the people in the background are apparatchiks of the state. <laughs> okay, you are talking here about man in the high castle when John Smith is first introduced in the Vauxhall wow. in New York. I mean, like, it's this sort of imagery. It does look the same, though. The exact same setup, the exact same um, feel that you get from the very first image that was shown of Joe. Um, you get this from these other two. The people who constructed this image, this, that was not Photoshopped, that picture of Joe Biden. That was a not Photoshopped image. I mean, Scar from Lion King. It's insane. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> They did not put Scar from Lion King on this bad boy, man. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. I'm about to kill your king. And you, I'm going to be the king. <laughs> Listen, Joe Biden, is he's not playing with y'all now, man. He wants to be, he wants y'all to vote for him. And his gloves are off. <laughs> you know what? They are putting him in these positions, man. I don't think any of these... Any of this is his idea. I don't think any of it is. I I don't. You're going to have to prove it to me that this is his idea. I don't think it's his idea. What are they doing? The answer, by the way, <laughs> and it's V for Vendetta. It is all the dictators that you have ever seen in film or on screen. <laughs> basically rolled into one and then wrapped into an image. What is his team doing? What is his team doing? Well, I think the answer is they're a very online team. The people who work for him, they spend all day on Twitter. And so... Over the past few weeks, there's been this idea that Dark Brandon is rising. Dark Brandon, of course, is that meme <laughs> that originally started. Game of Thrones. <laughs> they even got the little white eyes and everything like he's an X-Man or something. <laughs> In China, of Joe Biden sitting it's on a hilarious. throne made of guns with his lit up eyes backlit by flames. You know, he, he's evil. I think that his team was like, you know what? That was such a cool image, man. It went viral online. Let's just recreate that in real life. And so you end up with this. You end up with the, with the actual picture of Joe Biden. Let's go back to the original. You end up with the actual picture of Joe Biden in this picture. Now, let me describe for people who are just listening what is in this picture. Joe Biden is standing at the podium. This is an upshot. I believe this is from Getty Images. He is screaming at the top of his lungs. He's gripping his fists up in the air behind him is Independence Hall, the site of the Declaration of Independence <laughs> and the Constitution of the United States. Blood red. Blood red. And behind him are two American Marines who are in shadow, except for 
their white gloved hands. And behind him, there's a, a pale light that looks like, because of the way this is lit, it looks like the throne room of the emperor from, from Return of the Jedi. It, it's, it's the worst piece of presidential image making ever. Truly ever. I mean, imagine the, the sort of thought that had to go into this. And they're sitting around a room. They're like, what can we do to make the president really look cool? What would- well, I really want to know what he said, too. I mean, I know they, they're trying to make him look cool. They're trying to make him look like he got some power. They're trying to make him look like he's strong um, and like he he's a no nonsense type person. But I want to know what he said. Matter of fact, I should go check this out. Well, what if we take a historic American site, you know, the site that it really is known for liberty and for and for democracy and legality. And what if we light it blood red, blood red, and we put the president in front of the blood red site. So it'll be red and black, like the fascist color pattern. Let's do that. And then what if we actually front light him so he looks angry and demonic against that backdrop? And then what if we put a couple of Marines behind him to look like military force is what is backing him? This is a taxpayer-sponsored event, by the way. You paid for this. So Joe Biden gave a speech, and the speech was designed to attack all of his political opponents and treat them as enemies of the state. That's what this speech was designed to do. I think in a very cynical way, because Joe Biden basically gave you two messages. One, everyone who opposes me is an enemy of the state, and two, violence is wrong. The basic idea here is to raise the temperature. I think this is more likely to result in acts of violence that Joe Biden is then going to use as a case to run in 2022 and 2024. I mean, this is extraordinarily dark stuff. Okay, we haven't even gotten to the content of the speech. Just the imagery alone is extraordinary. Really dark, really creepy, really fascistic. And man, did he, I mean, th- there's a reason that satanic, demonic, and pure evil were all trending on Twitter last night because man, oh man, the imagery associated with the speech. And you know what? It fits well within the rhetoric of the speech too. Because what Joe Biden said last night is, as I say, the most dangerous thing I have seen an American president say about half the country ever, ever in my life. And I'm sure there are times, maybe, maybe before that in American history, but I was born in 1984. So I can only tell you what I have seen since 1984. The president of the United States going out there and saying that the half of the country that disagrees, he has a 38% approval rating, half the country, more than half that disagrees with him, that these are people who are associated With pure evil, he speaks about his fellow Americans the way that George W. Bush spoke about Al-Qaeda. So let's let's actually go through the speech now. We're going to go through it in in real detail. I want him to speak in his own words. It's it's amazing. So this thing opens. Remember, it's a taxpayer-sponsored event, which means he's using all of the power of the office, this, this geriatric dotard. He's using all the power of the office, including taxpayer dollars, and all the imagery of traditional... American republicanism, small r republicanism, in order to prop up a demagogic piece of fascistic speech making. So here he was at the very beginning and Jill is walking him out to the podium because he now needs to be walked from place to place as our president. And uh, here's what it sounded and looked like. So there he is. I mean, he can barely walk. She's, she's leading him out there. If this doesn't feel like the death of the Republic to you, I don't know what would. He's in front of Independence Hall. He can barely raise his hand to, to wave. Okay, and then she ushers him to the podium wow. and, um, and he moves her off and then he begins to speak. So he starts off by- This brother is, he's struggling, man. He's struggling a lot, a, a whole lot. A lot of stuff that he's, uh, I'll let this finish and then I'll speak out. Welcoming his fellow Americans. And by his fellow Americans, he means everyone who agrees with him. This was a pure campaign speech but it is laced through with the kind of seething hatred for his fellow Americans that I, I have not seen. Truly, it's despicable. Here's the, here's the president of the- Every time I see him, I think of Weekend at Bernie's. That's what I think. It's like we're trying to hold up. I wouldn't, if that's a clone or a robot that we later find out that it is, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he's somewhere laid up with machines connected to him, trying to keep him, trying to keep him afloat. I would not be surprised because every time I see him, it's like, it's like a struggle. The United States, Captain Unity over here. My fellow Americans, I speak to you tonight 
<clears throat> from sacred ground in America. Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is where America made its declaration of independence to the world more than two centuries ago <clears throat> with an idea unique among nations that in America, we're all created equal. Okay, so. Wow. Wow. There was no Photoshop. Everything was super dark. Why was it super dark like that? Like, is this the beginning speech to what's about to happen after this, which is going to uh, be, okay, so everyone get on the floor, grab the one you love, and we're about to have a sexy party. Ooh, yeah. They're about to cut on some very white and just start getting it on up in there. Like, this looked like a freak fest. That's what it looked like. Either freak fest or fight club. Something's about to happen after this. Or so it looked like, you know what it looked like? It looked like someone's about to get sacrificed after the after this speech of his. That's what it looks like. First of all, you can hear that he's clearing his throat. He's he sounds not particularly sick. healthy. But as you can see, this was angry Biden. But there are two versions of Biden that are now present in there are really three versions of Biden that are present in American public life. There is doddering fool Biden can't get a sentence out, can barely speak, is wobbling around, his aides are worried he's going to trip over a wire, falling off bikes and all the rest. And that's one version of Biden. Then you have fake empathy Biden, where he goes into his low voice. He really cares. <sighs> that's the stuff where in completely inappropriate context, he cites the tragic death of his son in order to try and garner empathy for himself while supposedly trying to sympathize with others, right? That's, that's version number two of Biden. And then there's angry, yelly Biden. What we got last night was angry, yelly Biden. So he, he continues with what he says are the, the, the real message of America. What is the soul? He said he was going to speak about the soul of the nation in front of a blood red background in satanic lighting. Here he was talking about the soul of the nation. What is America really all about? We, the people, we, the people, these two documents and the ideas they embody, equality and democracy are the rock upon which this nation is built. Okay, so the very basis of his speech that equality and democracy are the key values of the United States, they are some of the key values of the United States, but he's actually using the wrong language. Because when he says equality, what he means is equity. Right? He's made this very, very clear throughout his presidency. Equity means equality of outcome. It does not mean that you have equal rights under the Constitution. That is not what he cares about. He cares about equality of outcome. And if you oppose that, you're against equality. And when he says democracy, as it turns out, he does not mean the kind of republicanism, small r republicanism, that is discussed in the Constitution of the United States. The truth is, if you look at the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States, the key messages truly are liberty and republicanism, not equality and democracy. Equality and democracy are hallmarks of the French Revolution. Because in the French Revolution, the whole idea was that it was egalite, liberté, fraternité. It was, and it was pure democracy. It was mob rule. Wow, bro. Thank you for breaking that down, man. I never would have known that. For real. Thank you so much for breaking that down. Wow. The founders very much feared the idea of mob rule culminating in a powerful centralized figure who was able to do whatever he wanted without any of the checks and boundaries wow. of the Constitution of the United States. That's what they feared. And that's what Joe Biden represents. So understand, when he says equality and democracy, you're hearing equality of rights and democratic Republican rule under the checks and balances of the Constitution. That's not what he means. What he means by equality and democracy is something very different. He means equity and mob rule. Those are the things that he's actually standing wow. for. But again, what he's doing is he's hijacking. This whole speech was about hijacking traditional American images and turning them on their head, right? Independence Hall is now blood red. Equality and democracy, if you are in favor of a limited government and equality of rights, and you're interested in a checks and balances system that hems in the power of a centralized bureaucratic state, this means, according to Joe Biden, you are against the founding ideals of the country. All I'm gonna say to you is this. You have a lot of people out there that's just like myself, who don't know a great deal about politics, don't know a great deal about what's going on in the government, and they want to, we want to learn about it. That's why you're seeing a lot more people start to do videos reviewing experts discuss these sort of things. But the more we learn does not 
necessarily make us want to learn more sometimes it makes us run away from it because it's like not only are you gaining an understanding of how crooked people are but the more you learn the more you become a target yourself and i ain't got time for that man i don't want to be anybody's got on target bro that's not why i'm doing this i'm just trying to learn as much as i possibly can so that i can add some value to my family and build something that will be sustainable that I can pass down to my family who aren't here yet. Possibly teach others to do the same thing um, and, and create opportunities for other people as well. But I don't wanna be anyone's target. I care less to be anyone's target, but that's what happens. I'm starting to notice that when people are posting things about Joe Biden, those things are being silenced. They're not getting the same legs as they once did. I'm noticing that. Yeah. If it if 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 the title itself has Joe Biden and President Biden in it, it's being hushed and I don't get it. Well, no, I, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. I will say something my 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 level of naivete is decreasing it's decreasing and that's good because i do want to know what's ahead of me i want to know what's behind me as well but i that's i definitely want to know what's ahead of me um this is sad man this is sad bro Ben Shapiro, thank you so much for breaking this down for me. Um, the original link to this is below if you want to go check it out. And for the rest of you guys, please let me know whatever you want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.